Mm. I don't know. And for more Cyclops bits, maybe? And then there was the upgrade thing. Didn't I get one of those? A uh, modification station, but I don't think I've seen a modification station blueprint. So I don't know. Oh, well, I guess we'll eat food and head out again. Uh, you don't need much food. I'm going to cook the Gary fish. I'm sure one of the upgrade the the CMOTH, uh, the CMOTH module is, is going to be something to do with the cargo space. Why can I have more than 100 health? Don't quite get that. Anyways, yeah, we're, we're hopefully going to get more cargo space on the ship. Because there was like four modules there, but I have no idea what they can be used for. So much titanium. Aye, well, you never know. Never know when that's going to be useful. So let's see now. We are carrying with us... Oh, the flares. I don't need the flares. I think I don't need the flares. <laughs> uh, right, water. I might have to do a water run soon. That's for the future. So, okay, fine. Um, the hint said... Life pod 7 was where? Two hundred meters down, one kilometer southwest of the stern of the Aurora. Fine, okay. That's gonna be a long trip. Welcome aboard, Captain. But I have the rebreather now, so I feel fairly confident. So we wanna go over to the stern of the Aurora. So I'm probably wanna switch out to the radiation helmet while we're still in the ship. So, diamonds and mag magnetite. That's what they're looking for these, this time. And of course more blueprints. And what's that dipping in the ocean over there? Oh, well, it's just, just, just a seaweed. Nothing dangerous, that's good. Stern, stern is the back of the ship, right? It's aft and stern. Okay, at least now I can see the damn thing. Uh, last time we were here it was pretty much night and I couldn't see anything. Other than, say, the big thing that I wanted to eat me. Um, I would not be surprised if that one's around here too. Because I you know we can hear the screams. I don't think we lose the tools when we die, right? I hope... It, oh, goodness. Oh, the screen is shaking. Yeah, that they're around here somewhere. Uh, it said... Uh, which way? Southwest. So, in this direction. And 200 meters down. I think I want to go away from Aurora for a while first. Before I go down. You know. I want the shaking to stop. Good lord, the water here is so murky. This really feels like a horror movie right now. Okay, fine, so now we're under the murky bit. 
Wait, what's that? What is that? Uh, do I see anything scary around? Nah, well, good chances. Quick swim. Quick swim. There's a supply crate. Uh, with a battery. Oh, big whoop. I wouldn't have thought to look at for debris down here. Oh well, no matter. Um, I think we're gonna continue southwest, ish. There are some bits and pieces here too. What's that? I see something. Ah. Still haven't found a use for the propulsion cannon. But I assume it has something to do with the Aurora. And a way in. That's my f gut feeling. Um, right, still southwest and down. Rush back to the ship all the time. Just in case. Well, the screen isn't shaking anymore, so I'm going to assume that it's going to be reasonably safe from now on. Wherever the hell we're going. That's metal salvage, I think. That's just a big lump. I assume I'm going to need the, need the laser cutter to deal with these, those big deposits. Definitely a lot of wreckage down here. This is just metal. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay, so you can't go down much further, but... Yeah, still propulsion cannons. That's just metal, right? Yeah. Is it safe here to... Uh, I'm gonna go board the Seabot first. Or I try to, you know, switch out the inventory. Is it safe? I'm not getting radiation warnings. It, I think it's safe. Anyways, you said southwest, so I guess we're still heading this way. Just dawns on me. This this world has to have some kind of edges, right? And we're being munched at by something. Oh, those big things again. I mean, what happens when you move to the map's edge? I assume that just there's some kind of something to prevent you from doing that, but uh, not that I've tried. It said southwest, right? I'm not completely misremembering everything. Uh, one kilometer southwest. I suppose I could have put a beacon at the Aurora's stern. Then I would have known. Just quartz, right? Uh, I think those are just metal bits. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Uh oh. Imminent. Go back up. I guess we'll fix you up a bit. Let's see. Uh, repair tool. I know you're in here. Repair tool. There you are. A 
Yeah, I forget that the ship has momentum, so it still moves a bit forward. Uh, southwest is this direction. <laughs> kind of, I just have to peek down, right? Can't actually go anywhere down here. And it's so deep, so I can't use the ship. Uh, Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay, let's just go straight forward then. It said 200 meters, so we can't... 200 meters in a... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, oh, oh, again. Fine, I'll repair this. I don't know. I don't see the bottom of the ocean anymore, which uh, is also a bit terrifying. I don't see anything. Do I carry anything that I don't want to lose? <laughs> Let's start with that. Um, we're going to lose all the beacons, aren't we? You know what? I'm going to head back to the Aurora. This makes me kind of terrified. Because I assume that the game must have some mechanics for handling what happens when you get to the edge of the map. And I can't imagine it being, being anything good. So I think we're going to drop a beacon at the Aurora's stern. And... Uh, actually, I have no idea if we're heading home or not now. Can I even see my beacons? Can I see, it? Can I see the Aurora? You know, seeing the Aurora would be good. There we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there must be a, an, a map's edge. But what lies beyond the uh, beyond the map's edge? I'm going to go with Here We Dragons. And therefore I want to be kind of cautious about this. I have a feeling we drove too far. 100, 100, uh, one kilometer isn't that far. Not when you use the ship. So we'll go to the back of the Aurora and place a beacon. Oh right, I forgot. Uh, the muddy water. Well, if we're gonna, if we're gonna get eaten by reapers, we're gonna get eaten by reapers. I suppose that's an experience too, right? And I haven't, I haven't seen them up close, so I have no idea how huge they really are. Oh right, of course. Now we're safe. Almost out of power too. But that's okay, we still have one of those things aboard. What happens to the... oh good lord, look at the ship... oh, it's scary. Everything's shaken. Everybody shaken. Anyways, that's definitely the Aurora's... Whoa! Whoa! Um, hello! Hello, pretty! Um, you can let go now! Uh, you can let go! Oh boy. Uh... Okay, uh, room, 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 room. Pretty! No! Stop! Stop! Destroyed my Seamoth! He destroyed my Seamoth! He's gonna eat me, isn't he? I'm gonna lose everything I own. Come on, stupid game, let me jump up here, where it can't eat me. Ah. Well, I suppose that means we can't repair the ship. <laughs> uh, well, we're still alive. 
Barely. Uh, yeah, I... Oh, good lord. So, what do I do? And now the lights go out. Yeah, um... <laughs> what the hell do I do now? Seriously, what the hell do I do now? That was not something I was prepared for. The life pod is a kilometer away. So I'm going to assume now that the screen shaking is the game's way of telling you, you know what, something big and scary is nearby. Get the hell out of the way. Ah oh, well, um... <laughs> I don't know. I assume they can't eat me while I'm still here. I assume I have to go out in the ocean to be munched. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Good thing he didn't eat us, though. That kind of surprised me. He didn't kill the ship, yes. But he didn't eat me. And I would have I thought he could have done that rather easily. Huh. Anyways, can I plant a beacon right here? I don't know. Let's try. Let it go. Uh, can't I like, uh, you know, identify the beacon? Beacon, beacon four. Uh, rename. The beacon is there, but I can't... There must be a way to rename them. This one doesn't really work. Either. Yeah, well, um... <laughs> I don't know! I don't know, guys. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Um... Oh, okay. Uh, that's how these things work. That's fine. Thank you. So, let's try again. If it doesn't roll... Uh, there we go, edit, edit beacon name. Lovely. Hmm. There we go, Aurora's Butt. That's the beacon name for this thing. So thank you for the heads up on that one. At least now I know where this thing is and I'll have an estimate of where to go if I ever manage to rebuild my, <laughs> my vehicle. Um, uh, I'm going to make a quick save. Because I don't really want to lose everything I'll have here. That's a lot of beacons and everything. And that took me completely by surprise. But this means we have to swim all the way home. And I might as well start now because we're not going to have enough food otherwise. <laughs> it didn't eat me, but it ate the ate the vehicle. The vehicle was torn to shreds. And uh, yeah, I don't think I can fix it. It got kind of ripped apart, so I'm gonna assume that it was destroyed. And I don't really want to swim down there to try to repair it <laughs> while the Leviathan is around. <laughs> See, I think we'll head. Okay, it isn't after us now. The screen isn't shaking anymore. Okay, fine. And we planted a beacon on the Aurora's butt, so... <laughs> I just wanted to go there so I could have a beacon, so I had a point of reference for the clue we were looking for. But yeah, I get it. The screen sp when the screen shakes, that's the sign of the big critters. I know. So, I've had it before. I, I swam around the Aurora before, trying to find a way in. That was kind of uh, unnerving, but they didn't approach me then, so... But now, th now they certainly did. It scared the hell out of me. I mean, suddenly you have just a face with big teeth. <laughs> I 
But hey, learning experience, and we didn't die. But still only two deaths. Only two deaths in the game so far. <laughs> And none to the Leviathans yet. I'm sure that's, sure that's gonna happen. Let's swim on the surface. The surface seems to be safe for the most part. Then again, we were almost at the surface when the Leviathans came to munch at us, so I don't know. Anyways, home sweet home. Okay, so what do I need to build a new ship? <laughs> Ah, so it's the sound that attracted them. Okay, thank you. Didn't think to, didn't think about that. So going so swimming was actually safer. Power cell, lubricant, lead, tightening. We have all of this stuff. Yeah, that's not going to be any problem at all. I think. Welcome aboard, captains. Well then, so we shouldn't approach the aurora with a vehicle then i suppose that's fine uh batteries do i have spare batteries no should probably make a few more of those uh so i need to find some acids that shouldn't be a problem at all we needed lead we needed uh right we needed uh Lubricants. And I'm out of lubricants. Never fun to be out of lubricants. Let's see. Three fine seed clusters. Okay, so we need to go out and get some of those. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a while before they have the Cyclops though. <laughs> At the rate I'm going. I mean, not that I have, not that I have a uh, rush to get down to anywhere. Just exploring the game and see what see what I can find, and see what recipes we can find. Uh, and I forget what we were doing again. Right, uh, acid for mushrooms, and we needed some of those creep fine things. Uh, the creep points were... which direction were those again? Weren't they towards the Aurora? I think they were over here somewhere. I don't think it's a matter of having to do so. I mean, it's fun to have the big things, right? So I'm, yeah, I do want to build a uh, Cyclops, I think, if I ever get all the bits and pieces I need for it. Which is unlikely. Have I scanned this wreckage before? I think so. No, I have not, apparently. Do fragments respawn? Because I feel like I've been here before. Maybe I haven't. Uh, just a space cows, I think. Space cows. Sea cows. The big ones. Anyways, air. I don't have a vehicle to enter now, so... Okay, this was not the direction of the wine forest. It's a big submarine. I would reckon that would be, it would be hard to drive. Oh, there we go. There's the creep vines. So we need some of those cluster things. Might as well get a bunch now. Uh, we have... Well, actually, we do not have lots of inventory space. No! Uh. Of course not. <laughs> Fine. Uh, back to the life pod, I suppose. Need acid mushrooms too. I can pick up a couple of those while we're here, I suppose. Ah, oh well. 